Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to play a D minor and an A minor chord on your ukulele. That way you can play along to the cricket song in your music class. First things first, let's make sure we are holding the ukulele correctly. We want to make sure that the back of the ukulele is pressed up flat against our chest like this. We take our forearm on the right hand and we press that nice and hard down on the end of the ukulele. And then with our left hand we make a capital L with our fingers and put that capital L up under the neck of the uke. That way our ukulele is nice and secure and it's not going to move around while we're playing our song. To make a sound on the ukulele we take the thumb on our right hand and we just let it lightly glide over the four strings. Now I'm going to start today by showing you how to play an A minor chord because that's the easier of the two. So using your L hand we're going to reach up from the bottom to the very top string on the uke, which is the string closest to the ceiling. And from the end, we are going to count up two spaces. Watch me. One, two. We're gonna press down nice and hard in that second space with our middle finger, okay? And with all chords today, it's really important that you're using your fingertips to press down on the strings. We don't wanna lay our finger um, across multiple strings. So, pressing down nice and hard in that second space, up on your fingertips, and you've got your A minor chord. Now to play a D minor chord, we're just going to add two more fingers. So you can leave this finger where it is for the whole song, and to change it to a D minor chord, we take our ring finger, and we put it directly underneath our top finger. So our ring finger is in the second space on the second string. We then take our pointer finger and we put it in the first space on the third string. So your D minor chord will look like this. Double check that you're pressing down nice and hard, check that you're up on your fingertips, and then you should be ready to strum. What I recommend doing now is go away and practice transitioning from a D minor chord to an A minor chord. Remembering that you can leave that middle finger in place for both chords. When you feel confident doing that, you can try and play it to the song, the cricket song. Have a ball, have a bat, how's that, how's that? Add four to your score, no ball. If you're out for a duck, it's bye-bye. That's all. Good luck.